These psalms are going to bless your heart. Let's read. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Today, God, as we come to you, we ask that you will hear us. We ask that you will sanctify us and you will set us free. May your delivering power be revealed in our lives so that we understand the height, the depth, the boundaries thereof of your love and the greatness of your power. Let it be manifested in our lives today and let your will prevail in Jesus' name. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou said, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Today may the Lord lead you and guide you and cause his favor to remain with you. May his glory abide within your heart and teach you and your children and your families his ways continually. May the fellowship of the Holy Ghost live within you, live within your own soul and within your children. May your words bring glory to him as he abides within your house to comfort you today. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Today I speak over your life, but God will grant you patience as you wait on him. As you wait on his promises, I pray God will give you strength, he will renew you, he will renew your mind, he will renew your body, he will grant you extraordinary strength to prevail, to live and to declare his works. I pray today that the fellowship of the Holy Ghost will remain with you and strengthen you and grant you courage and grace today. Psalm 35 
Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as sharp before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Today, God, I lay ever battles before you. I lay the battles of those who are listening today before you. Fight our battles today, God. Fight the battle of the person who is listening right now. Be our shield and our guide. Be our protector. Let your angels, God, chase away every evil power and principalities. Let their way be dark and slippery and let none of their words come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit. Without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him. Yea, poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. For as witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourned for his brother. But in mine adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the objects gathered together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and cease not. With hypocritical mockers in feast, they gnash upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long will thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions and my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Today, Lord, I thank you that you are fighting my battles for me. Today, Lord, I thank you that you are fighting the battles of this person who is listening right now. Whether it wants to be a battle of health or sickness, Whatever battle it may be, I give it to you today. And I said, God, fight my battles. It's not mine. Fight it for me. God, I give you the glory today. I lay ever battles that I'm fighting at work. I lay ever battles that I'm fighting at my house. I lay ever battles that I'm fighting when I go out on the road. I lay it before you, God, and I ask you to fight them for me. I know we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Therefore, every day there is a battle to fight. And if you don't dwell within us and stand on our behalf, then we are nothing compared to the devil. Therefore, God, fight our battles for us. Fight our battles for us. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. 
neither let them wink with the eye that ate me without cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yeah, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, or I hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence. O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ha, so would we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed them up. Today, God, I pray for this listener. I pray for this household that no weapon that was set to destroy this person's household will be manifested. But let them be destroyed, God. Do not let the wicked rejoice over this household. Do not let the wicked rejoice over the children. Do not let the wicked do not let the wicked rejoice over their children. Do not let the wicked rejoice over their marriage. I declare unity and peace and forgiveness. I declare your blood that you will shed for them. Let your blood, let your blood prevail, God. Let your righteousness prevail in this household. Let them be brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my cause. Yeah, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of all thy praise all the day long. Today I declare that my mouth will sing of your praise. Let our mouth sing of your praise, God, as we are in your presence. We know the battle is not ours. We know the battle is not ours. Therefore, let us praise you while you are fighting on our behalf. I will not worry today. I will not fret today. I will not become overwhelmed because I know my Redeemer lives. I know he is able to do more than what I can do. Therefore, I lay everything at his hand today and I give him the glory. God, you are healing people now. You are providing for people now. You are making ways for this woman who is listening right now. And you are opening up doors for this young man who is listening. Father, you are our fighter. You are the one who is clearing the way. Today, clear the way from every accident and incident. Today, clear the way for us and let there be provision, God. Because you are a provider. I thank you today that you are with us and you're within this household right now. Psalm 37 Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath, for not thyself in any wise to do evil. For 
evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, who shall diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotted against the just, and gnash upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he saith, his days is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. The wicked have drawn out the sword and bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. The wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume in the smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked borrowed and paid not again, but the righteous show mercy and give it. For such as be blessed of him shall inert the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lend it, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. Today I thank you God, that you are blessing this person who is listening, with peace and with righteousness, with your favor and with your grace. Today I thank you that you are satisfying this person's need. I thank you that you are opening up doors God, and you're expanding opportunities on the behalf of this person. Father, we thank you that you will have caused this person to do good and to wait on you and be strong. I thank you also, God, that you give this person the art of gratitude and thanksgiving, knowing that you're always working on their behalf. I thank you, God, that this person will not receive the spirit of anxiety and fear to wander you'll grant them this resolute spirit of peace and confidence knowing that you are providing for them and you are their reward and their strength. Let worry be far, let murmur be far from them and let your word be within their heart even in the times when it seems very hard. I thank you God for your righteous right hand that it is moving right now I want you, God, as I pray, to touch this person who is listening. Touch this woman who is listening. Touch her children also. Let the light from your presence, God, saturate their house, their home right now. In Jesus' name. Let the heart of this man who is listening, God, be changed by your word. And let conviction come about, let salvation come about. God, let your will be done. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name. Psalm 18. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, 
whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my I talk. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The sneers of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because it was wrath. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, fire out of his mouth devoured, coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under, and darkness was under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the ice gave his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire. Yet he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he slot out and he shot out lightnings and discomforted them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at thy blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Today may the Lord strengthen you and keep you, and fight on your behalf. May the Lord deliver you from your strong enemies, and deliver you from him which ate you, and keep you safe. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleansedness of my hands, as he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore, as the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleansing of my hands in his eyesight, with the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, Lord. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. By thee have I run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. As for God, his ways is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God? Save the Lord. For who is a rock? Save our oh God. It is God that girded me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like iron's feet and setteth me upon my high places. Today I declare over your life that as you are about to travel, whether you're going to walk or you're going to take a taxi or a plane or, the, or even the train, I declare over your life that the Lord will protect you and He will keep you. 
He will sustain you on your journey and He will cause His face to rest upon you. I declare that the Lord will gird you with strength and make your way perfect. I speak over your life that the Lord will carry your feet into the places where He have ordained you to go. You will not be led astray by anyone or any forces, but the angels of the Lord will direct your path. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holding me up, and my gentleness, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtake them, neither did I return again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise, they are fallen under my feet. But thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle, thou hast subdued unto me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that ate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people. Thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock. Let the Lord of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. He delivered me from mine enemies. He lift me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, Lord, among the heathen and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance give it me, great deliverance give it he to his king, and show it mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. Today I thank you God for your mighty right hand. I thank you for your work, for your move, for your touch. I thank you God because your God all by yourself. Move God and let every enemy be moved. Touch God and let every enemy be shaken in fear. Speak God and let every force of the darkness die now in Jesus' name. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, and though the mountains shake with the smelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen rage, and the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, we owe the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He make it war to cease unto the end of the earth. He break it the bow and cut it the spear in asunder. He burn it the chariot in the fire. 
Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Today I declare that the Lord will break the bow of the enemy from out of your life and that the Lord will keep you safe from every arm. I speak that you will be still and know because the God of Jacob is with you. I declare that your children, they are also protected and favored by God and that the angels of the Lord are carrying them on their way to school and the angels of the Lord are carrying them back. I declare over your life that healing will take place in your life. Today as you believe, may the angel of the Lord stretch his hands out and touch your body and restore every broken wounds and every sickness and every disease, let them be disappeared at the rebuke of his voice in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Psalm 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I'll be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most I. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. But thou hast maintained my right and my cause, thou settest in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destruction are come to an perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. The memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath appeared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. They that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, shall not forsake them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembered them. He forgot it not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, consider my trouble which I suffer of them that ate me. For thou hast lifted me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the pit which they hid is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is sneered in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail, let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, for the nations may know themselves to be but men. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your beauty and for your holiness and for your word that as it goeth forth it is fighting. We have been healed, we have been provided for, your angels are taking charge over us. We thank you that you're fighting against every force of darkness, every principality. We thank you that you're saving people. We thank you that you're changing hearts. We thank you for your move. In Jesus' name, amen.